Hello and welcome to the sixth demonstration in the series that I'm doing on uh, Windows 10 in the Enterprise. So in the very last uh, demo, I showed how to use uh, provisioning packages to customize images, Windows 10 images in the Enterprise. And so we'll take it a step further here to now we have deployed images. Now, how do we customize the user experiences uh, in our Enterprise? So to begin with, we'll start by touching on roaming profiles. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and you're thinking roaming profiles. Uh, does anyone still use that? Yeah, lots of people still use that. Actually, if you think about um, what's going on in the IT world today with the explosion of cloud technologies, um, actually, you, you can see a similarity between what's going on now and what, what used to happen on the roaming profiles. Because the whole point of roaming profiles is your users have the same experience no matter the device that they are using. Now, it wasn't, it, it, it's not as broad as what we experience with cloud technologies today. But again, that was like the original philosophy behind that, um, behind roaming profiles and redirected documents. So whatever device you log into, your experience, user experience is the same. And also your files uh, follow you everywhere you go. And that's kind of like the thing you get with um, cloud technologies like OneDrive, and, and lots of them, you log into your Windows machine, you sign in with your Outlook account, and you buy another PC, you sign in there, all your customizations get pulled down from the cloud to your new device, all your documents also get pulled down from the cloud to your new device. So your settings, your customizations, your experience follow you no matter where you go, no matter which device you use. So taking the focus off the device, and on the user experience. So always like the whole point of um, roaming profile. So we talk about roaming profiles and redirected document. So just to show you what the network hub will be using, what it looks like. So let's get this one here. So you can see I have um, four PCs um, for this demonstration. Uh, so I have uh, long client one, long client two, long client four, and I have long DC one, which is the domain controller. So this is where we'll be doing majority of the configuration. So it's not going only going to hack as a DC, it's also going to hack as a file server. Of course, uh, in the real world, you don't want your domain controller to be your file server, except you're really, 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 really small business. But even that, you you don't want to do that. So um, that's the setup that we'll be using. So what we'll be using this client for, we're using this client to test our configurations. And you see what I mean when we get there. So first of all, let's go back to Lon DC1. Now sign in here. And the very first thing that we're gonna do is we have to get uh, our enterprise ready to begin to use roaming profiles and redirected uh, folders. So what do I mean by we have to get our enterprise ready? Again, that's the number one thing that we're going to do. And what that means is that we're going to be using roaming profiles. What that means is that if a user logs into this PC, yeah, so a user logs into Lon client one here, their profile is not actually going to be saved on this, it's going to be saved on the file server. But where is it going to be saved on the file server? We need a folder where we can save all, all these profiles. So then the other thing is when the user logs in and creates a file here and saves it in my document, whatever, it's not actually going to be saved on this machine here. The documents are actually going to be saved on this file server. So where is it going to be saved on this file server? We need a folder for that. So that's what we'll be preparing right now. So let's do that. So I'm here, let's go on the um, C drive of this machine and let's create two new folders. So I'll create one, I'll call it profiles. So this is the folder where all our user profiles will be stored. And I'll create another one, I'll call it redirected. And this is where all the redirected um, storage areas will be uh, stored. So if I go on the profiles, and set the right permissions. So the permissions I want is I want uh, domain users I want domain users to have full control and I'll apply that. Um, there we go, yep. 
so actually before I close that I'll go back on the properties and I'll share this folder if I go on the advanced sharing share the folder leave the name set the permissions for everyone's full control they'll be limited by NTFS uh, permissions so that's okay um, that's a different discussion anyway so I'll do the same thing for the redirected um, folder that I created so I'll go under security and give domain users full control NTFS permission domain users full control NTFS and then if I go under sharing advanced sharing and I share the folder and I'll set the permissions for everyone full control but the NTFS permissions will limit them so click OK to all that and click close so now that's ready that's done got the folders where I'm gonna save my folder my roaming profiles and folder where I'm gonna save redirected uh, storage areas so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to active direct users and computers and what I'll be doing here is I'll be showing how to redirect a user's profile uh, to a location on the network so open active direct users and computers and the user that I'm going to be using in this scenario will be Adam Ba, who is in marketing here. So click on Adam's profile. So you can either right click and go on the property, so just double click on it. And I'll go on the profile here. And here I see user profile path. So here I'll say redirect Adam's um, user profile to backslash backslash learn this one backslash profiles backslash percentage username percentage and that's just a, a variable that just says whatever the username of this account is that's what you use for this folder naming so I'm saving it in the folder that I created earlier and then say a hey. and then if I click apply to this it will immediately calculate that variable and set it as Adam which is this user's username and then I can click OK to that so now I have um, Adam's um, profile redirected to that location so if I go again under that location profiles it's still empty so that's expected that's okay so the next thing I'll do is I'll redirect Adam's my document I'll redirect my document of every user in marketing to this redirected folder on the file server so the way I'm going to do that is using group policy so open group policy management and I'll sneeze now so I'll pause the recording hmm, excuse me okay um, so if I expand forest here expand domains look for marketing which is where Adam's account is located and I'll right click and create a GPU and link it here you don't want to do this in production that's really bad practice but this is not the forum for, for discussing best practices this is just demonstrating and showing how to do things and the reason why you don't want to do that is because basically this GPU they have created I've created they have linked it it's live any settings I put in here begins to affect users that are in production so you don't want to do that in production so I'll call this um, folder redirection and I'll click OK to that and then what I want to do is I want to edit this group policy excuse me just filling happy <laughs> feeling happy today okay yeah so group policy opened up now let's go on the user configuration um, so policies windows settings folder redirection here expand it and then you can see all these different folders that you can redirect so the one I want to redirect is document so I select document right click on document and click on properties and then I have um, these options so I can either say advanced which will allow me to say hey anybody in this group 
we direct them to this location anyone in this group we direct them to this location but that's not what i want i have only a single folder that i want to redirect everyone's uh, folder to so create a folder for each user under the root part is what i want so i'll leave that and then i'll go backslash backslash long dc1 backslash redirected and then it shows me here an example of what will happen that listen if there's a user whose username is claire i'll create a folder called claire under redirected and then they, their document will be redirected under a folder called document uh, so that's what will happen so yep that's what i want i click ok to that and uh, gives me a bit of one in terms of a hey, be careful for if you have other clients within your environment i'll click yes to that and that policy is live so what we'll do is I'll go to Learn Client One now. We're gonna log in as um, Adam. Uh, actually, before we do that, uh, because this this annoys. Um, well, I won't say. <laughs> yeah, it is an annoying policy. So I'll close this for first of all. I'll go to edit my default domain policy, and what I'll do is I'll take away the uh, fancy. Which is a nice word to use. <laughs> I'll take away the fancy uh, first time login animation that happens. So to avoid us having to waste a lot of our time. So if I go on the computer configuration on the policies, on the administrative templates, on the system and on the login. And what I want is first, yeah, let's see, uh, show first sign in animation. No, thank you very much, but no. I don't want any first sign in animations, just want to get to work. So not configured now, but I'll say disabled. That's what I want. I want it disabled and I'll click OK. And that's the default domain policy. OK, so now if I go back to Learn Client 1, which is this machine, and I try to log in as Adam now. Adam, and I'll sign in with Adam's password. I press so before I do that, if I present that to that, let me go back to Long DC one. And if I go back to my folder, as you can see profiles is still empty. If I go back to redirected, redirected is also empty. So let's see what happens when Adam logs in here. So Adam is logging in here. Let's go back to Long DC one. Here we go. It's created a folder for Adam called Adam.v5. For those who don't know, um different versions of operating system have different profile versions so for windows 10 is version 5 i think for windows 8.1 is version 4 for windows 7 i think is version 3 and that and that and that so this is version 5 so that's why you have adam.v5 okay so let's go back to so adam's logged in now and uh, logged in as adam so one thing that you that you may find is that the redirected uh, folders or the redirected document has been applied and if i go on the properties here you can see that that's still local that's not something that's been redirected and the reason for that is um so you see that if i right click here and i go on the command prompt and i just force a group policy update if i do a gp update slash force and while you you see the warning that will come up when it gets to applying the user policy and then it says hey the group policy client side extension folder redirection was unable to apply one or more settings because the changes must be processed before system startup or, or user login. So it's saying, hey, this has to be processed before system startup or during user login. So you have to log out and log back in for me to apply this policy. That's what it's saying, basically. So if I click yes to log out and then log back in. So by the time I log back in, if I go back to Long DC1 again, go back to the redirected, you see it's still empty now. So by the time I log back in again, it's going to apply that policy and we should see a folder for Adam now. So let's log in again. And again, if I go back to London, this one, and there you go, we've got a folder for Adam now. 
so that's all nice now we're logged in so what do we want to demonstrate okay now we have roaming profile set up with director document set up so first thing i want to do i want to create a new shortcut on this desktop i want to create a new shortcut for the c drive and it's called local disk c yeah i got that and i can go new folder i call this folder prison uh, not prison uh, it's not what i wanted i wanted to call it presentations presentations and i have this here and then the other thing i want to do is if i go to um the document and now you can see this little status here saying online sync status ready for first thing if i go on the properties here you can see this is now pointing to the redirected location and now if i create a new document here and call it text document call it adam open it and say adam Bell and save it yeah so i've saved now and this is long client one that I'm on. I've made I have these two new icons on the desktop and I have a folder uh, I have my document. I have a document called, called Adam a text file called Adam there. So if I log out of this After making all these changes sign out of this And then what I'll do is I'll go to another machine called long client 2 which I bring up the diagram again So that's long client one made all these changes create all this document i have to go back to long client 2 now so let's go back to long client 2 so this long client 2 let's sign in as adam again and then let's see what happens after adam is signed in Oh, okay. Yeah, go sister to call. <laughs> so this may take a while, so I'll probably just pop. Oh, okay, yeah, that's done. And there we go. Um, okay. So is this long client one or long client two? I thought I was on long client two. Uh, okay. Ah, okay here we go <laughs> so this is long client 2 not long client 1 so I'm logged in to long client 2 now and you can see we have the customizations that I made on the desktop so Adam basically carries experience to every machine he logs into and then if I open documents and I go on the document here I can see the document I created on long client 1 followed me here and all the customizations that I've made here why because my profile or the experience is not saved on this machine it's saved on the file server somewhere so that's um, um the basic information about setting up roaming profiles and redirected uh, document so in the very next demonstration uh, make sure you watch this i'll go a step further to describe okay so we have this setup what if i don't want adam's profile to follow him to every single machine what if i want to set some limitations to that that's what i'll be demoing in the very next demonstration uh, about the use of roaming profiles and redirected document by using that alongside with primary computers you'll love that so i'll see you in the next demonstration bye for now